Welcome back. Former President Trump posted his $175 million bond in his New York civil fraud case, preventing New York Attorney General Letitia James from seizing his New York assets while he fights to appeal. Trump posted on Truth Social, with the sadly failing and very troubled state of New York, based on a corrupt judge and attorney general who used a statute that was never used for this before, he also called the case, quote, a fabricated election interference con job. Joining me now is former federal prosecutor, former acting ICE director, and former DHS deputy assistant secretary, and Holtzman Vogel partner, Jonathan Fahey. Jonathan, good to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Your reaction to the fact that Trump posted this this money, and uh, now we will wait to see how this plays out and the appeals process. What are you expecting? Well, it, yeah, I'm very glad he was able to post this money because this this prosecution or whatever you call it is so you know he's exactly right. It's politically motivated. Everyone knows that. She even campaigned on it, and and this idea that you know a fraud case where no one lost money and actually the victims actually benefited has never I've never heard of anything like this. So I think he has a lot of. Uh, chances of success on appeal, particularly on this Eighth Amendment issue, constitutional issue of the excessive fines. But everyone knows what this is. It's politically motivated. And Letitia James probably doesn't really care if they ultimately win. The whole purpose was to get Trump during the election year, tie him up in court, and that's exactly what's going on. It's really sad if you think about the Biden campaign strategy is primarily reliant on prosecuting and tying up his political opponent in court. It just shows how weak his position is on the issues and anything else that matters. Well, I mean, Jonathan Turley, who is a regular guest on Fox, said that this whole thing is testing the credibility of the legal system in New York. I mean, do you expect Trump to be in trial before the election, given all of these indictments? Yeah, it seems like it. I think Jonathan Turley is exactly right. All these cases, ironically, Letitia James is harming the citizens of New York, not only by distracting from more important issues, but undermining the judicial system, because it's going to take a long time for people to, you know, have restore their trust in the judicial system. But, yeah, at least one of these cases will go to trial. It seems like the Alvin Bragg case, which is even more ridiculous, will go to trial maybe even within this month. And this will tie—you know, whether or not they're successful or not, they'll tie President Trump up in court, prevent him from campaigning. And this helps Joe Biden. And, you know, with these jury pools in New York and other places, his—President Trump's chances of a fair trial are very, very small. And everyone, you know, Know, is intent on just seeing him prosecuted for political gain. And again, no one really cares where these things go on appeal because the purpose is dealing with it, putting them on trial now before the election, because that's the greatest political benefit to President Biden. Wow, that is just unbelievable, Jonathan. I mean, to say that we are watching this unfold in real time is just stunning. Uh, do you think it's going to affect Trump's ability to win the election? You know, in some respects, you know, it may, but, you know, because it will take him off, off of yeah. the campaign trail. But, and, but and, I think, and bleed him of his money, too. Yeah, exactly. But I do think a lot of people are seeing this as like, well, this is a bridge too far. I mean, to have somebody that's yeah. never been charged with a crime in 70-something years of his life, and all of a sudden, in, in yeah. liberal jurisdictions, he has charges everywhere during an election year. Most people aren't buying this, I think. But yeah, it will, I agree with it you. will harm him. It will harm you know, him. Be because he can't, like you said, he can't raise money. He can't be out there. And, you know, juxtapose that with Joe Biden, who, who doesn't want to be out there. So this helps Joe Biden. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to this federal judge in Los Angeles. He's denying all eight motions from Hunter Biden's attorneys. Uh, they want to dismiss the tax charges against him. His lawyer writes this, We strongly disagree with the court's decision and will continue to vigorously pursue Mr. Biden's challenges. Jury selection expected to begin June 20th. Hunter has pled not guilty to all nine charges against him, Jonathan. And these are, just to be clear, the tax charges, nothing to do with the Foreign Registration Act or the influence peddling schemes uh, investigation that the House has pursued. 
Yeah, right. It, it, it is interesting because, you know, they're complaining these are politically motivated charges, but ironically, they didn't really dig deeper into where's this money coming from, what are these schemes involving. It's just simply the tax charges. But this is another interesting one because they're in court arguing that this was politically motivated when nobody has been a greater beneficiary uh, of his name and all the advantages than Hunter Biden is. He had somebody pay his five million dollar tax bill just to be just to be a good friend, supposedly. <laughs> but you know the, the 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 real thing for Hunter Biden that I think most people need to know is whether or not he's convicted or not at trial. I, I think it's a foregone conclusion that he will be pardoned after the. Uh, mm -hmm. November election by his dad, yeah. win or lose. Be and everyone, I think, knows this. So, in a way, this is sort of just, you know, going through the motions. But at the end of the day, he's going to be pardoned. He'll walk free. He'll be making millions of dollars and playing this victim card, which is really disgraceful and appalling if you think about it.